I don't know how well it shows up on camera here, but man, I've got a huge pump going. I just feel bigger than I did just 15 minutes ago. Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillier with Live Anabach. Today I put together a really fun workout. It's basically designed to hit all the muscles in your upper body and give you basically just an instant pump because there's a lot of muscles that if we hit them right and all at the same time, it really makes it look like you've just instantly added tons of muscle to your body. And that's what's really fun. So guys, I'm gonna get into the workout in just a minute, all right? You're gonna love it, trust me. But before I do, I just wanna to talk to you about a free resource we have. It's our Facebook group. I mean, I, I talk about this in a lot of my videos, but guys, it's phenomenal. We're, we're well over 12,000 people all over the world. It's people just like you. People in their 40s, 50s, 60s. We even got guys in their 70s and 80s, okay? Tons of people helping each other out. I'm the moderator. I'm in there every single day. I'm answering questions. I'm posting content. And of course, everybody's helping each other out. That's what's the beauty of the thing. So I guarantee you, it is by far and away the best fitness group on all of Facebook. So don't waste a free resource when we give you one. <laughs> all right, now let's move on to the workout. So today is, I'm gonna kinda throw you a few curveballs, but it's, it's fun, all right? You're gonna love this. So I'm gonna combine a circuit style workout with supersets, okay? So a superset is when we do two exercises back to back with very little rest, okay? So I'm just gonna do one exercise I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna walk over, and I'm gonna immediately do the next exercise. So after each superset, you can take a one minute rest before moving on to the next superset. So there's three different supersets. And remember, each superset has got two different exercises that I do want you to do back to back with really no rest, okay? So we're gonna do three supersets, a minute rest in between them, and then that is considered a one circuit. You following me here all right and then we're gonna do three circuits right so guys the way I've designed this is we're gonna be supersetting opposing muscle groups and when we do it that way we give our muscles time to rest so that when we hit hit them again in the next circuit man you're gonna be able to just blast them. they will have fully recovered okay and when we do it in this order and when you do it with intensity and keep your rest to only one minute between each superset, guys, you're gonna see a gigantic pump. And there ain't no better trick than this when it comes to going out by the pool or going to the lake or mowing your lawn with your shirt off or walking the dog with your shirt off or going on a run or a bike ride with your shirt off. Guys, you're gonna look huge because we're gonna pump every single muscle in our upper body. Okay, so let me just explain what the three different supersets are, because remember, each superset's gonna have two different exercises, okay? I just wanna tell you the name of the exercises, and then boom, I'm just gonna do it. You guys can just follow along and watch me do this, and I promise at the end of these three circuits, I'm gonna look a whole lot bigger than I look right now. So the very first superset, I'm gonna do incline dumbbell press, all right, so I got my bench here, and after I do 10 reps of that, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna put my chest here and I'm gonna do 10 dumbbell rows. All right, so we're gonna work our chest and then our back in that superset. All right, then you can take a 60 second rest before you move on to superset number two. Now that's gonna be two arm dumbbell curls. Once again, 10 reps. After you finish doing those, just put the dumbbells down and I'm gonna walk, okay, over to my bands. I've already got them mounted and I'm gonna do 10 tricep push downs, okay? That's superset number two. Give yourself about 60 seconds rest before we move on to the last superset. And that is, I gotta cheat here, I gotta look. So we're gonna come back over here and I'm gonna get the dumbbells and we're gonna do lateral raises for 10 reps, all right? And then after that, I'm gonna put them down, I'm gonna walk back over to my bands and I'm gonna do 10 lat pull downs with the bands. So guys, if you think about it, all right, and start adding everything up, we're hitting every single muscle in our upper body, all right? And because we're doing them opposing muscle groups and we're only resting one minute in between each superset, you're gonna force a ton of blood into all these muscles. 
And at the end of this little circuit here, you're gonna be really jacked, all right? So just follow along. Now guys, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna be changing the dumbbells between certain exercises because this first exercise, chest and back, those are big muscles. So you can lift a lot of weight, all right? So pick a heavy dumbbell for this first superset. But when we move on to the next superset, all right, we're gonna be doing curls, much smaller muscle group. So during that one minute rest, I'm gonna take my dumbbells and I'm gonna change them out for some a much lighter weight, all right? Because you really gotta use a light weight when you're doing curls if you're doing good form. And the same thing goes with the lateral raises, okay? You gotta, you gotta pick the right weight. And so while you're resting, it's fine to change out your dumbbells. Same thing goes with your bands, guys. All right, so, whew, a lot of talking, a lot of explaining what's going on here, but that's because it's kind of a fun, interesting, different type of workout. So here we go, just watch. I'm just gonna go through and do three complete circuits exactly like I want you to. Very first thing, dumbbell presses. nine and then ten all right now you don't have to kill yourself you don't have to run but we're going to transition to the next exercise in this superset without really resting okay and this is how i do it Superset number one is done. Now, I got 60 seconds to rest between I start before I start my next superset. And of course, I'm gonna use that time to switch out these dumbbells for lighter weight. Because remember, I'm doing curls next. All right, so guys, you can put a stopwatch down on the floor. You can look at your watch. You can just kind of <laughs> guesstimate. The 60 seconds doesn't have to be perfect. I want you to catch your breath a little bit, all right? So you can put in enough effort into this next superset. I don't want you being so gassed that you can't do enough weight and you can't push yourself hard enough. All right, so here we go. 10 curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. No rest. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to have to get Mojo to move. Come on, Mojo, you got to move. So I'm going to do 10 tricep push downs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, whew. and to superset two, I got about a minute to rest before I start my third one. Well, what I'm doing now is I'm getting ready for my lat pull downs. It's a big muscle group. You can do a lot of weight. All right, so I'm adding some resistance to make it tougher. And of course, I'm doing this while I'm catching my breath and 
taking that 60 second rest in between supersets, all right? So, superset number three is the last of this circuit and it's the dumbbell lateral raises. So I'm gonna come back over here now. Whew, it's been about a minute. And I've left the dumbbells at the same weight I was doing with the curls. So guys, you can change the weight, go up, down, depending on how strong your biceps are relative to your shoulders. You're gonna have to kind of experiment and figure it out. All right, here we go. Lateral raises, one, two, three. Starting to feel the burn in my shoulders, guys. All right, no rest. Coming over here. I'm gonna do the lat pull downs. Oh. All right, I gotta pull. move away. Here we go. One. Ooh. Three. Four. Five. Six. That was the end of the third superset, which means I've completed one circuit, but I still only want you guys to rest about one minute before we begin our next circuit and we go back to superset number one. So I'm gonna get ready for my tricep push downs coming up next. So I'm gonna take off some bands there that I added for my lat pull downs, because remember my triceps are smaller, not as strong, and you're just kind of changing the weights out while you're resting for one minute between these supersets. So now I gotta come back over here and go heavier because I'm gonna do chest and back. So still just kind of catching my breath, taking my time here, but it's been about a minute. So I'm ready to start circuit number two. So circuit two, superset one, here we go. Exercise number two in superset number one. It gets a little confusing, guys. Oh. One, two, three. Got that one down. I got a minute to catch my breath and lower these weights so that I'll be ready for the dumbbell curls. All right. So, Guys, the reason why I'm having you rest about a minute in between supersets is because, you, as you can tell, I'm out of breath, partially because I'm trying to talk to you, but doing supersets, you know, really is a lot of reps without any rest. And so I want you to catch your breath in between so that you have some oxygen in you so that you can hit your next superset with enough intensity. 
that you're actually going to get something out of it that you're actually going to get a pump because if we were doing all three of these supersets back to back with no minute rest in between them that's the equivalent of doing six exercises back to back all resistance training with no rest and then it would turn it into more of a hit style cardio workout so you're going to get some cardio benefit but this is not designed to be a hit workout this is designed to give you a really good pump and look huge at the end of it one two three Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, lat pull downs are next, and I've changed my bands just a minute ago, right after I finished doing my lat pull down. So I'm doing triceps now, and I've already got the correct resistance on here. So I can come straight over here and just do it. One. Into that superset so while I'm resting for one minute I'm gonna add some resistance here get ready for the lat pull downs that are gonna be coming up in just a minute so it's a fun workout in that you always got something going on all right you're changing weights you're moving around so even while you're resting you're doing something so I got to get ready for the last superset in this circuit and that's the dumbbell lateral raises here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine Ten. Whew. Shoulders are burning. All right. I've already got my bands set up for these lateral raises. I already added the extra resistance, so don't have to mess around here. I can just go straight into it. One. into circuit number two now guys I'm not talking much about the form when I'm doing these different exercises okay I'm spending most of my time talking to you guys about how to actually do the workout all right so I've shot other videos where I get really into detail on the form or you can just look at the way I'm doing it and pay attention but guys especially on a lot of these exercises like when you're doing back or tricep push downs with bands i really like to flex and hold the movement at maximum muscle tension just for about a second or two before i do the next rep same thing with the tricep push downs all the way down try to lock your elbows out try to squeeze those triceps for about a, a full second before you let the handles back up for the next rep so the form is not something I really have time to discuss because we're moving around so much and I want you to kind of follow the whole concept of the circuits and the supersets all combined together. All right, so this is my third and last circuit here, guys. But because I'm doing chest, I got to go back and add a bunch of weight, okay? All right, here we go. 
Has it been a minute yet? <laughs> All right. One, two. rows I like to just put the dumbbells kind of on the bench here get set up and, and drop them off to the side one two three Not there yet. All right, I gotta change my dumbbells out for a lighter weight. Whew, because the next exercise coming up is curls. So, if you can't tell, or if you can't hear me on my microphone, just moving around with those heavy dumbbells and changing them out for lighter, that actually <laughs> uses a fair amount of energy. So even though I'm resting for a minute, man, I'm still lifting a bunch of weight, moving around, bending over, bending, standing back up. So I promise, if you can't tell, man, my heart rate is way up. All right, but I'm getting near the end. So let's knock out the last two supersets here. Here we go. 10 curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, eight, ten. Whoo! Ah, right. now we're gonna do tricep pushdowns. I already got my band set up for the correct resistance here. Let's do it. Ten, one, two. Finished with that superset. Let's get ready for the next one. <sighs> next time I come over here, that's the last. We'll be totally finished with the whole workout for the day. But first, <laughs> I'm gonna give myself just a little bit more recovery time. <sighs> and then the third superset, of course, for the lateral raises. Then I go back over to the bands and I do the lat pull downs. Whew. Man, so I, I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it real well on camera, but I mean, I'm getting much bigger. I mean, my, my biceps, my triceps, my shoulders, my chest, my back, everything is getting blood forced into those muscles because we're really doing some really good resistance training without a whole lot of rest. So the blood stays in those muscle fibers. It doesn't have time to dissipate out. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! 
All right, shoulders are on fire. Time to do last exercise of the day. Mm. Ah, lat pull downs, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right. <laughs> so, guys, I didn't time it. I forgot to check on my watch. But that couldn't have taken 15 minutes. And if you're not feeling totally pumped right now, okay, you're either not doing heavy enough weights and you're not pushing yourself hard enough. You might be doing 10 reps, but it might be an easy 10 reps. So, if that's the case, do more weights, do more band resistance, because when you get to that 10th rep on every single exercise, I want you being close to failure. Now, I'm sure you were looking at me and you were going, Mark's not near failure. Well, <laughs> because I'm not doing enough weights. I'm doing way, way less weight than I normally would if I was doing this as my own personal workout. And the reason is, <laughs> I want to be able to talk to you guys in between exercises. So if I'm doing a real heavy weight that I can just barely knock out 10 reps, I'm so exhausted. I got so much lactic acid going that I basically wouldn't be able to say anything to the camera. I would just barely be able to make it through my workout. And so that's really what I want you guys to be doing, okay? And for those of you who want to push it a little harder, this is a great workout. Instead of doing three circuits, do four or five circuits. You will really feel a phenomenal pump, guys. And now is the time, take your shirt off, go out by the pool, go mow the grass, go on that walk with your wife, your girlfriend. You're gonna be looking good. I mean, I don't know how well it shows up on camera here, but man, I've got a huge pump going. I just feel bigger than I did just 15 minutes ago. And then finally, guys, come on. You gotta stick with it. Never give up on yourself.